Edith Louisa Cavell was born on December 4, 1865 in Swardiston, a village in Norfolk, England. She was the daughter of Reverend Frederick Cavell and Louisa Sophia Warming, and she grew up in a family that emphasized religious values, education, and helping others in need. Even from a young age, Edith exhibited a strong sense of compassion and a desire to care for those who were suffering. Her interest in nursing led her to begin training at the Fountains Fever Hospital in Tooting, London, in 1895. After completing her training, she worked at various hospitals in London and the countryside, where her dedication to nursing and patient care quickly became evident. Her strong work ethic and natural leadership qualities earned her several promotions and positions of responsibility within the nursing profession. In 1907, Edith Cavell was invited to Brussels, Belgium, to become the matron of a nursing school at the Birkendale Medical Institute. Over the next few years, she transformed the institute into a well-respected nursing school and established herself as a prominent figure in the Belgian medical community. When World War I erupted in 1914, the institute was converted into a Red Cross hospital to care for wounded soldiers from both sides of the conflict. Edith's commitment to providing impartial care regardless of nationality brought her to the attention of British and other Allied soldiers who were trapped behind enemy lines. Recognizing her dedication and her deep-seated belief in the duty of nurses to care for all those in need, regardless of their allegiance, Edith became a beacon of hope for those seeking assistance. As the war continued, Edith Cavell became increasingly involved in a clandestine network that helped Allied soldiers, as well as Belgian and French civilians, escape from German-occupied Belgium. This network provided shelter, forged documents, and arranged for safe passage to the neutral Netherlands. Edith's role in facilitating these escapes was crucial, and she risked her life to save countless individuals. However, in August 1915, Edith's activities were discovered by German authorities, she was arrested, along with several others involved in the network. After a brief trial, she was found guilty of treason, espionage, and aiding the enemy. Despite international pleas for mercy and clemency, the German military tribunal sentenced Edith Cavell to death. On the morning of October 12, 1915, Edith faced her execution with remarkable composure and dignity. Before her death, she made a famous statement that has since become widely known, Patriotism is not enough. I must have no hatred or bitterness toward anyone. Her words captured the essence of her compassion and her belief in the inherent value of human life, even in the midst of war. Edith Cavell's execution caused outrage and condemnation throughout the world. Her selfless actions and sacrifice resonated deeply with people of all backgrounds, and her story became a symbol of heroism and the fight for justice. In the United Kingdom and other allied nations, she was celebrated as a national hero, and her memory was honored through memorials, stamps, coins, and even poems. Her legacy extended beyond the war, inspiring generations to come. The Edith Cavell Nurses Trust was established in the UK to provide financial assistance and support to nurses in need. Her story also played a role in shaping international laws and conventions that protect medical personnel during times of conflict. In Belgium, Edith Cavell's memory is preserved through monuments, plaques, and the continuing recognition of her contributions to humanity. Her former nursing school in Brussels has been transformed into the Edith Cavell Memorial and Museum, where visitors can learn about her life, her impact, and the larger context of World War I. Edith Cavell's life exemplified the values of courage, selflessness and compassion. Her legacy continues to remind us of the power of individual actions to make a difference in the lives of others, even in the darkest of times. Her unwavering commitment to her calling and her ultimate sacrifice serve as an enduring testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity.